Hello to all my friends out there. Well, I intended to make this pork tenderloin here on the table, but after I ate the rest of my fish, I knew I really wasn't hungry. So uh, last month I bought, this is a pork tenderloin. I bought tenderloins, but I also have tenderloins left over from uh, HelloFresh, that's it. So what I like to eat is meat, potatoes, and vegetables. So this video is really how to stockpile food for the last week of the month or for the entire month. Okay, the first items here, this is a dollar package of flour, uh, some yeast, some shortening. I bought that at Smart and Final. Um, sugar, the sugar is really cheap at um, Walmart. And this is my uh, buttermilk bread that I just made. So, you know, here is the recipe, in case you didn't see the video. Uh, what I did is I heated the water and I put one tablespoon honey. Then when, when it cooled to the point of warm, I put the yeast in. I heated the buttermilk, which I made with my buttermilk yeast, I mean my buttermilk mix. And I added the uh, salt and the butter, and then I cooled that to warm, and I added that once the yeast had activated, and then I just added uh, flour little by little. So by having this, it's really going to stretch your budget because you can make bread with gravy, uh, bread pudding, sandwiches, uh, bread and butter on the side. Okay, and then this, I was going to buy a big bag of, of potatoes and I thought no I went to Walmart and I had bought these I will buy four of these if you're going for one week just buy one so uh, and I so I want to buy four I could buy two of these boxes a, a package of french fries or a package of uh, sweet potatoes one week left of the month just buy one Okay, and then for a month for shelf stable milk. Now they're getting stingy at the pantries. They're giving you oat milk, they're giving you almond milk, they're giving you everything but cow's milk. And I am having a hard time finding whole milk. You want whole milk in case you ever have to eat cheese. But for a month, I would try to get four whole milks and four, uh, four pounds of cheese. I cut my cheese in half pound packages and freeze it. And then what I do is I shop around for butter, usually grocery outlet, and I keep them in the freezer. Uh, here is the juice. What happened is I had a grape juice and I gave it to these street people and, you know, they just came running with a cup. And I thought, wow, you know, that would be so bad. Now, I never drink juice, but if I want to drink juice, it's in there. And this was good for me but because it's diet but it's not good if you have kids, but um, we can still find these for a dollar. So I would try to get four bottles. Uh, one bottle of olive oil. I buy this one because that's just about all I need in a month. And then uh, I usually don't buy the um, peanut butter like this, but I was eating it in the car and that is uh, deviled ham. And this is chicken. These are the, the four I like to store. So if you have these in your stockpile and it's the end of the week. Okay, now about cereal. Okay, they're saying we had a tiny oat crop. So uh, toasted oats, you know, are made out of oats. And these cornflakes are, these are pretty close to a dollar. They're still the best deal at Walmart. And then, so I would buy four of those and then eight soups. Because if you have your soups and then you have your bread, you can uh, get by. So this is a good little stockpile. If it's, it's also food you can eat just for eating. But if you have a little bit extra, it's, it's really going to help you out. Um, if you have the stuff to make bread though, you can make biscuits, you can make pancakes, you know, you can make bread, which is good. So. This is a good little starter if you're new to stockpiling or if you just want to add a little to your stockpile. And, oh, I wanted to mention 
Soup is something I can pretty much get 50% off. Uh, the vegetable soup is kind of hard to find and you could use that in a pinch in place of your vegetables. So you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe and God bless you all.